All right guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at a pair of wireless in-ear headphones that's more on the budget side. Yes, we talk about headphones that are $100 plus, but what about the ones that are under $50? Well, today we're looking at the JVC Marshmallow Wireless Earbuds. All right, so to start off with, let's go ahead and talk about the name for a second. Because some people, when they're looking at a product, can be turned off by the name alone. If you hear Marshmallow right off the bat, you're probably going to think these are for kids and not really take them seriously. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you might want to think twice about that. Okay, so where I want to start is where they got their name. We're going to start with the accessory of the little foam ear tips. Now, they're very soft. You can mash them down, and they, they're more like a memory foam ear tip and it reminds you of a marshmallow. That's where the name of these came from, although they probably could have came up with something just a little bit different. All right, so these are compatible with Android, Apple, PC, Mac, whatever that has Bluetooth connection. These do have 14 hours of battery life. So on a wireless earbud, that's really good. Now, as far as accessories, it's pretty simple. You get a micro USB cable because you do need them for charging, and you have an extra pair of the foam ear tips. Now I do want to start there before we get into the build and design and all that. The foam ear tips. The foam ear tips are what kind of put me off a little bit. I'm used to the silicone ear tips. I'm able to get a better seal with those. So the foam ear tips takes a little bit of getting used to. And in fact, it took me a while to actually get a good seal, which is really important to get the sound that you want out of these. Because if you don't have a good seal, you're not going to have good bass and it's just not going to be the experience that they're trying to sell you. So at under $50, are the JVC Marshmallow Wireless worth it? We'll get into that in a second. Let's go ahead and go over the build. It's your simple around the neck design. You can see that these do hang. They're not retractable, although they have a slider on both sides that when you slide it, it keeps your headphone cable going flush with the neck band. So it gives you better cable management than most other options out there. All right, so the headphone cables themselves are a really thin wire. Now again, these are under $50, so you can't expect that it's gonna be a flat cable, it's gonna be the most robust build. You kinda understand there has to be sacrifices. This isn't a big deal. Uh, this also makes it where it is handy to be able to put into the neck band. Uh, the design of these on the left hand side, there's nothing on this side. On the right hand side is where all of your controls are located and also your charging port. Uh, your power button is on the inside part of the neck, your volume up and down, your play button, pause button, skip, all that's right here on top. The charging port is located on the tip of it. You actually just have to remove the little cover for it and it's right there. Um, I did notice with controls, it's a little weird and the reason and I say that again it's just maybe because I try so many and I'm used to other uh, types uh, but to be able to change the song you tap the plus button twice to turn the volume up you can't just simply tap it you have to press and hold the button which to me is weird because it just kind of goes up at a pace that you're not maybe wanting it to go up at um, again, build quality of these, because they have these on the end, they stay balanced pretty well. They don't move a whole lot. Obviously, if you're exercising, I wouldn't recommend these simply because the foam ear tips don't stay in as well, um, at least for me, as the silicone ear tips. Now, maybe you experience something completely different, or maybe these will fit your exercising needs. All right, so honestly, that's it as far as build quality. They're pretty robust. I think you'd have no problem just kind of balling them up, throw them in your pocket, throw them in your gym bag, um, and you could wear these pretty much all day and you'd be good. Uh, your left and right are marked on the inside part of the earbuds. Uh, they're very sleek, very small. These are available in a bunch of different colors. I think I saw white, blue, black, maybe red. But I do like the simple design. They're not huge. They don't stick out, you know, big time from your ears. As you can see, um, I guess I'll show you this side. It, it stays in pretty well. Again, because of the foam ear tips, you have to really push them in and wiggle them to get that complete seal that you're probably used to just throwing a silicone pair in and getting it right away. All right, so are these worth it based off sound? For $50, this is in the range of the Skull Candy Inked Wireless, the Smoke and Bud Wireless, the Method Wireless, um, some of the Sony ones that are out there. And I can say for $50, these are right where they need to be. And in fact, JVC probably could have even charged 
$75 for these because I think at the $50 price point, they're more than worth it. As long as you get a good seal in, the base is really nice. It's not overpowering. Um, it's right where it needs to be. It doesn't lack bass by any means, but I think that they went more of the approach of let's get a more balanced sound. Let's not get something that's really extremely warm and just drowns everything else out. Uh, mids are really good. Vocals came in no problem. Female, male vocals, uh, guitar riffs are really, really thick and crunchy, if, if that makes any sense. Trebles sound great. When I'm listening to something with drums and they're hitting the cymbals, um, anything with higher notes, it's just extremely clear. It didn't get too high. Uh, the listening fatigue is not there. You could listen to these uh, for hours and not get tired of what you're listening to. So I think JVC just went for something simple. They went for something saying, we're not gonna go over the top with the design. We're not gonna throw a bunch of features at you. We're gonna give you 14 hours of battery life and give you a sound that's pretty true to what um, the source is supposed to be. Now, it's not to say that these are like audiophile by any means or that these are studio reference uh, because obviously they are colored uh, as far as the sound signature goes, but it's colored in a way where it's not overpowering. Uh, if you're looking at a signature, it is kind of a U shape, but it's not V shaped like a lot of them. You get just enough bass, really good mids, and then your treble peaks out where the bass did. It's just an overall incredible balance. Uh, I was able to use these with my phone and there's no lag because of the Bluetooth technology in these. Uh, it syncs up well because that's one thing you run into with a lot of inexpensive earbuds is they don't have the technology to give you um, you know, when you're watching a video that the lips are not syncing up with the sound because there's a slight delay. I didn't experience that at all. So the JVC Marshmallow Wireless, this is a first look. I haven't seen these anywhere uh, and I just happened to stumble upon them for $50 is a really good deal. That's all for this review. Thank you guys so much for checking out this review. Thank you guys for all the support on all the other videos. And as always guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.